Right now, though, in Inspiring Stories, we're joined by Elite Masters athlete Gavin Butler, who's here to inspire us all into keeping fit and the later in life, the better. Morning, Gavin. Morning. Really lovely to have you on the show. Glad to be here. Uh, Gavin and I just worked out, too, that we auditioned for a, um, for a commercial years and years and years ago together. Yep. We, were, we were husband and wife in it. Oh, oh, we were. We were. Yeah. We were. Yes. Yeah. What a great reunion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, so, did you nice. get the ad? No, no, no. we didn't. <laughs> it been perfect. Um, you've moved on, though. You're an Elite Masters athlete. Yeah. So what does that actually mean? Well, it's a term I coined for someone who competes nationally, basically. Um, it's, I, I coined it. It's not like a, a well-used phrase. But, <laughs> but basically, you know, you can compete uh, in provin provincial level. But I think if you go to the national level, you, you are an elite uh, Masters athlete. And Masters is 35 plus, basically. Mm. Uh, age 35 plus. And it goes anywhere up to, you know, like plus 70, I suppose, would be the, the normal age. But, um, but yeah, 35 is pretty young, yeah. Nice, okay, yeah. cool. And you've got these medals on the table. Can you yeah. explain these? Yeah, so I, I, I uh, competed uh, two month, about six weeks ago at the uh, National Champs for, for Masters Athletes, uh, oh. over 800, 1500 metres, which is the, the glamour middle distance event. Um, and I, I got two bronzes. Awesome. Um, yeah, I was in the 50, I'm 50, so, you know, the ripe old age of 50. So um, uh, I got bronze in the 50 to 54 category. Congrats. And um, hugely competitive. You may think... I mean, you've got 35 plus uh, turning up, but um, yeah, I mean, it's amazing. You, you go back to your school days and you think you were fast and you were fast, yeah. but you try and do that when you're 50. It's, it's, it's difficult. Well, things move in different ways when they you're 50, do, that's they for sure. They do, they do. Uh, yeah. So you, you, this is quite amazing, though, because you actually only took up running, what, five years ago? Yeah, I did. I mean, I, I competed very well when I was sort of 13 to 17, you know, sort of nationally ranked. Um, and then uh, sort of mid-twenties again, and ran at a, at a sort of pro top provincial level, but had a big break, did a lot of other stuff, directed a film, believe it or not, a feature film. Um, wow. Yeah, um, but got back into it sort of uh, mid-thirties, jogging, um, because I started to put on weight. Mm. Uh, I'm a slight build, so I mean, I, I, yeah. And sort of from 35 to 40, I, I was just jogging socially. and But then the old competitive instincts started to kick in, you know, you... Is that why it is important to compete? So you've got that adrenaline and that goal? Yeah, it's not for everyone. OK. At all. Um, you, you, I mean, to coin a phrase, you've got to be a bit of a competitive mongrel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it is a bit of an overused sporting phrase, but you do. You, you've got to be up for a bit of a brawl. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, Mel, you put yeah. well, right running, to that. Yeah. Why running? Like, why, why not something different? Or why did you start to get yeah, into running? Good question. Um, I tried a lot of other different things doing my 30s, actually. Uh, early 40s, mm. golf. Uh, tennis, swimming, but running uh, is just so easy. You just need running shoes. Mm. You don't have to pay. And in the end, it was what I was most naturally good at. Yeah, and it can fit in with your schedule, can't yeah. you? You can do it around all sorts of things. Yeah, you can. I mean, it, it's so flexible. Mm. Um, yeah, so it's just, it's just, and also I enjoy it. I love it. Do you? What yeah. a strange... See, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to be a runner, yeah. but I find that I haven't reached that po point where everyone says, oh, you feel this absolute euphoria and it's amazing yep. and I haven't got there at all. I just hate it. <laughs> well, I mean, you probably have. It's just that you don't recognise it. Like, how long are you running for? I, I will... 20 minutes? 30 minutes? Probably about 40 minutes, 45 is my okay, most. OK, that's a good distance. I think if you're running over 20 minutes, you are achieving a lot. And That's, how do you know when you've got that euphoric feeling? I that think you're when like, you yeah. feel like when you feel like that you are floating on the ground a bit. Right. But you're not going to get that every run. Right. I just think about what's hurting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, hey, 40 minutes is a good run. Mm. I um, do like how it makes me feel afterwards, though, yeah. which I guess is yeah. Well, important. I mean, you're getting um, the runners high, which is basically endorphins. Mm. Um, and let's be honest, you know, when you do hit middle age. Um, or any Which we haven't done yet. No, yeah. no, you haven't. I'm older than you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, you know, it's that feel-good factor. Mm. Um, you do feel an incredible high after a run. And, um, you know, it's hard to get out there sometimes, especially when it's cold and, and wet and so on and so forth. Yeah, well, and that's a good point to ask this yep. question, I guess. If there's people watching at home now that are thinking, OK, cool, I want to stay fit, I want to stay healthy, I want to yep. compete in a, a, you know, as an athletic competitor yep. at an elite level, how do you get started? OK, well, first thing you've got to do is pick your sport. I mean, um, running is not necessarily... Not everyone likes it. I mean, it's hard work. Um, but you've got to be prepared to be patient. OK. You've also got to sacrifice. This is really, really, really important. You've Things got to like be... wine? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh. the full bar of chocolate? Oh, yeah, not so much that. It's more the actual late nights. OK, cool. Yeah, I mean, it's really, really simple, but you need a lot of sleep. 
if you are going to exercise really hard. Hey, let's be honest though, when we do hit middle age, we, we can't stay up past nine o'clock anyway. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, hey, that's good. Because that means you're going to get up early the next day, um, probably. So, I mean, yeah, you, you just need to be really careful about um, what you've done over the last 10 to 15 years. Um, that's really, really important. Even get a medical from a doctor to start off with. Okay, cool. Yeah, because mm. I can feel that you know your energy is palpable in this room, and that's clearly down to the exercise that yep. you are doing. So you know, is it important for us to keep doing exercise as we get older? Oh, totally, absolutely. I mean, I see people who are like seventy. I mean, I run on Sunday with a group of guys, right? Commonwealth Games gold medalists, uh, and so on and so forth around Cornwall Park. It's ungodly out seven o'clock in the morning. But these guys are like, some of them are 60. Wow. I mean, uh, uh, Kerry Rogers, I'll name them, Kerry Roger, Gavin Stevens, gold medalist. And honestly, Gavin Stevens is 60, and he's still sprinting up the Cornwall Park summit. Wow. Yeah, and I mean, that's you when know, you spend kids with your time with your grandkids and stuff. Yeah, and I'm it? looking at him, I'm thinking, my God, I'm 50. Wow. I've got 10 years to go. I mean, yeah. so, so, you know, I think you just, you, yeah, it, it just it makes you so healthy. Good. Yeah, it's good for your whole, your yeah. whole well-being. Hey, well, it's been lovely talking yeah. to you. Oh, Thanks so pleasure. much. Absolute we should have got pleasure. that ad too. It would have been the perfect, would have worked well.